Okay, we don't want to deflate it all the way because it will be easier to put it back inside. And what, uh, the thing that I like to do here is to find this uh, arrow that shows the, the direction of the moving of the tire and to mark the same arrow on the rim so that I don't have to search much when I, have to, when I want to put it back on. Just cut about 10 centimeters long strips of this tape, and it is easier to immediately split it before you apply to the tire because it is harder to apply this thing on a tire when it is it is it is. It is harder to split it when it is already applied to the tire. So this is how we gonna do it. and then use your nails, the outside of your nails. This is how it should look once the first layer of the double-sided tape is done. So almost every 10 centimeters I've put the double-sided tape.
we're gonna apply this inside the tire and it is simple job you just put it like this and try to feel it inside all the way through the tire Cut this piece here. Again, we need a double-sided tape. Only this one we we're gonna put a less tape than than we did in the first for the first layer. So we start at the joining point of the dilatation tape here. much easier now because we are doing horizontal lines now. Just cut the piece of the double-sided tape and just apply it over that joining point, but we will not remove the top layer of the tape. So you could probably think why not putting a smaller inner tube than the, the original one here. You could probably do it. I think you could. But as usual on my channel I want to keep the stuff as budget friendly as usual. So right now according to my experience the inner tube for the fat tire bike are in short supply. And they are not that affordable as for the regular bikes so I will just work this original inner tube back inside like this
there we go now just bounce it a bit so that inner tube sits a bit better now we can pump it Okay, so I pumped it at 1.3 bars and the tire is rock solid, so I wouldn't continue with the pumping, I'm quite satisfied now, you see, and that's about it guys, so this is how I try to puncture proof my tire for under I think it's for under 10 euros, you see. Now I just apply the cap and the tire is ready to be installed on a bike and it's ready to ride. So we'll see how that goes. Okay guys, that's all for this video now and see you in the next one. Bye.